All right, a uh, couple of more notes uh, on these AC lines. Whenever you do this, I recommend to just replace all of them. And I took this to a local hydraulic shop and had them redo that. Uh, that's the compressor. That's what the compressor looks like. And of course on this compressor, I think what the problem is, is uh, this clutch is all fried. But I'm replacing the whole thing no matter what. This, that's it. I'm not going to mess around with it. Uh, to remove the headlights, it has like a little switch in here. You just turn this and that releases it. And you can see it from the inside right here. Just flip that little switch and pull it out. It's kind of tricky to get out sometimes if you spray some soap or water in there that'll help. Here's a look at what the other side looks like. Here's what that fender looks like. Inside of the fender. You take it off. You take all those screws out of the top. And then it's got the couple of screws that go in from the inside of the inner fender. There's one here, one here, one here, and there's a bracket. That's the driver's side. I just un unclicked the turn signal lights. That's what all that stuff looks like. And there's the new compressor. That's what it looks like. Expansion valve and dryer. On these newer ones, it's got a plug on there. It's supposed to drain the oil out of it and add the recommended amount of oil. There's another one of those hoses. See, they just welded a new fitting on there and changed out that hose with just a regular over-the-counter AC hose instead of a VW unit. Whenever you do this, you need to replace all of that stuff, including the condenser because it's a parallel flow condenser.